lot of the things you're seeing right now uh, with the news, you're seeing Ghassam Soleimani, you're seeing Iran, you're seeing World War III, you've seen all this stuff. How are you processing all this information for somebody that's been there before? Uh, it's um, it's kind of surprising, you know, especially the killing of Qasem Soleimani, you know, but I think many people don't realize that what Qasem Soleimani role is in that war in Iraq. I mean, my days goes back all the way down back to 2006, 2005, when Soleimani was just establishing his uh, little militias in Iraq and was uh, going around Iraq communicating with al-Qaeda and anybody that was fighting against the United States during that period. Uh, so it's kind of surprising, actually, to see finally that we put an end to Soleimani's efforts in the Middle East because Soleimani wasn't just really any uh, Iranian general. He was basically the smartest person in the Iranian regime. And uh, Soleimani had figured out the keys to the Iraqi government, which is something that the American government did not know how to contain or control because uh, Soleimani have controlled the Iraqi government with a fist for the last uh, 15 years, probably. And have you ever had a chance to uh, see him? Have you ever been around him? Um, so I have uh, witnessed uh, the movement of Soleimani about 20 feet when I was working as an undercover intelligence asset for the U.S. intelligence. Uh, he started to move comfortably in Iraq as much as the U.S. troops started taking their hands away from Iraq. Um, as you know, the Iraqi government was completely, uh, majority of it was appointed by Iran. And the person that would choose these individuals or vet them or pro put them through the process to become an asserting position was Soleimani himself. Majority of the people Ma in Iraq that were put into power were chosen by those in Iran. Absolutely. Uh, Soleimani would actually be the one to, to select them, and uh, they would never get the position if Soleimani won't prove. So the, the media is painting us to two different uh, Soleimanis. I want to know from you, having been there yourself. One side is, you know, Iran loved them, 82% approval rating, all this stuff that you keep hearing about. You know, people mourned, thousands of people showed up to his funeral. That's one side, right? Yeah. The other side is a brilliant strategist killing Iranians, killing Iraqis, killing U.S. soldiers. You know, vicious, Kurds. terrorists, Kurds, yeah. doesn't matter what it is. Anybody yeah. that's in his way, yeah. he's going through them. How do you view him yourself from experience? Um, I think he's been the perfect tool for the Ayatollah since the 80s in putting down protest and taking care of all the enemies of the Ayatollah or uh, the enemies in Iraq or Syria or any other countries. Um, he, uh, you can never underestimate the intelligence of Soleimani. Soleimani uh, has uh, controlled Iraq. Uh, he called all the shots. And I think that Soleimani was a competitor for us as uh, U.S. government, as U.S. military, U.S. intelligence. He was one of our main competitors until about 2012 when we pulled the troops. He became actually the main uh, person to dominate Iraq. 